The Princess of Wales is the new patron of the National AIDS Trust, and today the focus of their concern is the plight of children with the HIV virus. In particular, the conference is worried at the lack of resources and information available to cope with both the medical and the social impact of the disease. The Princess spoke not just of the problems, but also of the opportunities. The opportunity is simple. HIV does not make people dangerous to know. So you can shake their hands and give them a hug. Heaven knows they need it. What's more, you can share their homes, their workplaces, their playgrounds and their toys. We all need to be alert to the special needs of those for whom AIDS is the last straw in an already heavy burden of discrimination and misfortune. It's estimated that at least 200 children in Britain have been infected with the HIV virus. And delegates believe there's a serious gap in counselling and the health services for the families. The Princess has long taken an interest in the issue of AIDS, opening hospital wards, becoming what the National AIDS Trust has called today a leader in dispelling public prejudice and stigma, often by meeting patients with the HIV virus. The health minister says no one is underestimating the scale of the problem. We have to envisage that the numbers will creep up through the hundreds as we look through the next decade. If we look internationally, it's estimated that something like 10 million children by the turn of the century will be HIV positive or have AIDS. Another 10 million will have been orphaned by AIDS because their parents will have perished. Up to now, the focus of services has been towards homosexual men. But the government is now encouraging both the NHS and also voluntary workers to switch their attention to other groups affected by the HIV virus, especially children.